I have the King Quilter 2 Elite from Sewing Machines Plus on the long arm behind me over here. And this tablet, I have got the Pro Stitcher Premium tablet on that machine. And it comes with a ton of designs internal to the tablet. So you can get the machine and the tablet and just go to town, you're up and running right away. But sometimes you want to get external in long arm designs. And one of my favorite places to get those is from Urban Elements. And that's where I am at right now. When you shop at Urban Elements, they uh, send you the design file once you pay for it in a zip file. And I know some of you know how to do this already, but some people don't. So I'm going to go over real quickly how to download a zip file. And this applies no matter whether you're purchasing embroidery designs or maybe you got a pattern or something like that. And it comes in a zip file. So while I am already logged into Urban Elements, I'm going to click on the account button. And on the account right here, I've got my downloadable products. So I'm going to click on this. And this gives me a list of all of the designs that I have already purchased. And right here, I have Kristen Champagne Bubbles and White Caps. And so the video that comes after this, the second half of this video, talks about these two designs right here, Kristen Champagne Bubbles and White Caps. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that right here. You've got a little download arrow. And what happens is, is you get a Kristen Champagne Bubbles dot zip that pops up on your screen in your downloads folder. This is a Windows machine. Now, underneath here, it, ha it says open file. And if you click this, the design won't work. Over here, we have a folder, but it won't work because it is a zip file. And a zip file, uh, you know those space bags that you can get where you can put a bunch of blankets or quilts in the space bag and you take the vacuum cleaner hose to it and you suck all the oxygen and all the air out of the space bag and it goes down real small. Well, the contents inside that space bag cannot be used in that state. You have to unzip that space bag and let the air come back in and fluff everything up in order to be able to use what is inside the space bag. That's exactly like a zip file. It has very large files in it that have been compressed down into a smaller format that makes them easier to transport just like space bags, they're easy to move around and easy to store. So if you click open file, you might be able to see the files, but they won't work. You need to unzip them. And to do that, I'm going to click on this little folder right here, show in folder. And here it is right here. You have a yellow folder and it's got a zipper on it. Microsoft likes to give you lots of options or Windows likes to give you lots of options on how to do anything. So with this highlighted, there is a button up here in the top ribbon that says extract all. So you can extract, open up that zip file, or you can right click on it and extract all here. But you have to be clicked on the folder. Here is one that is not, it's not a zip file. I'm gonna click on it and watch what happens to this upper ribbon that option goes away. So you only see that and same, I can right click. I don't get, I get compressed to zip file, but not extract zip. So click on the zip and I like to right click and extract all. A window's gonna pop up, pop up and it says, select a destination and extract the files. I'm gonna leave it right where it's at. It's in my downloads folder, Kristen Champagne Bubbles. So I'm just gonna click extract and it pops up here. Okay, I like to use the HQF format on that Pro Stitcher. It can look at a lot of different formats, but HQF is the one that I like to use. And all I'm gonna do is get it and grab it and drag it down to the USB over here in this, and it's gonna copy, okay? It copied to the USB. 
if you cannot see this side menu right here in your folders, come up to view and you want to come down to show and make sure navigation pane is checked. If I uncheck this, that goes away and it's a little hard to move things around. So I want to go to view, show, navigation pane and that's going to give you access to your quick access menu and also you'll be able to see your documents folder, your downloads, where you downloaded your zip file, your music pictures, videos, etc. and also if you have a USB drive in there. So I'm going to click on the USB drive now and there is the Kristen's Champagne Bubbles in the HQF file format. So I'm ready to unplug this USB. I can right click on it and click eject and it says it's safe to remove the hardware. And I'm all ready to go over to the Pro Stitcher and pop this USB into the machine, into the little box behind the tablet and show you how to save that design to your Pro Stitcher tablet. So let's get started on that. Okay, I'm over here at my King Quilter 2 Elite and this machine has two different tablets on it. It has a little screen that comes with the machine that you use outside of the automation and then it has the automation. Now this tablet is a little bit different than other tablets you might have. So it is a Windows tablet and it has an edge browser on it so technically you should be able to go out on the internet and download your designs directly to the tablet however these particular tablets have been configured so that you can only go out to prostitcher.com to be able to download your prostitcher designs or for the windows tablet to be able to get updates if it needs it. So you cannot just get out on this tablet and start surfing the web. It's just not possible. So that's why you need to be on a different computer to be able to download your designs to a USB. So behind this, there's a little black box back here, this controller unit. And over on this side of it, there are two USB ports. So I'm just gonna take my USB and pop it into either one of those ports. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to turn on my tablet. So there are some buttons on top. You've got two, like a rocker button up here. The long one is for volume. There's a little short one right here on the side. You just press that. You'll see a little blue light come on right about over here. Um, and you'll get the Chewy.com come up on that. and it's going to initialize itself. Okay, now that the screen has come on, I'm going to use a capacitive pen that is designed for working with tablets. You don't wanna use a fingernail, you wanna use either the pad of your finger or a stylus. And on the screen, you have got tabs across the top and then each tab will have different buttons depending on which tab is picked. So I want to go to design. It's right here under the file menu and it has a star. I'm gonna to touch design. Pretty easy there. I'm gonna click open. Well, just like on your computer, it wants to know where do you wanna get the design from? So it automatically went to D here. Now, I don't know if that's because I was playing with it before or because it recognizes a USB in there. But I can see right here are my, there's my champagne bubbles and there's my white cap. So I'm gonna click champagne bubbles and I'm gonna come over here and just tap the open button. And there it is right there, okay? Now I'm in simulation mode, that's why the crosshairs are green instead of orange. And to save this, I'm gonna go up to the save button and selected. And now again, it wants to know where do you wanna save it? So you can save it in my PS patterns. 
I like to put my patterns that I download from Pro Stitcher in there. And then on the C drive, I'm going to click that little up arrow. And we have designs right here. And I'm going to tap the up arrow. That expands what's inside that. So here are PS Designs, Tutorials. This is the default. Okay. I'm going to scroll up. I didn't like that with my little stylus. Now, you have the ability right there. There's a folder with a plus sign. So you can create a new folder or you can delete a folder. Right. So if you hover over it, you'll get a little tool tip. And I created a folder called Urban Elements. So I'm going to tap that and then click save. You see? So it saved it in my Urban Elements folder. That's great. So now I'm just going to tap clear all. Okay. I'm going to go back to design and open. And here's the white caps. Tap it, open, and go through the same process. Save, selected, go into my C and designs. I'm going to scroll up to my urban elements folder, tap that, and tell it save. Okay, now let's see if that worked. If I go to design, and I go to open, let's get into my urban elements folder and see if everything is there. All right, there's my champagne bubbles and there's my white caps. Worked perfect. Look at that. So it's really simple to do. I'm going to hit cancel. Okay. So that's the way you will download, unzip, and install commercial patterns onto your Pro Stitcher. If you like the video and the content, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more videos on how to use the Pro Stitcher and the King Quilter 2 Elite from Sewing Machines Plus. I will talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.